Data analytics is about to transform in ways we never imagined. New tools and methods will change how we gather and use data. But what does this mean for all of us? In this video, I will reveal the major trends that will shape data analytics in the future. We will explore the new technologies you need to know and the skills that will keep you ahead. I will show you how advances in AI and machine learning could affect tech roles and the practical actions that you can implement today to get ready for what's coming. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Laura, I'm a data analytics lead with over six years of experience working in the data and AI space. And if you like these topics, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future videos. Okay, so let's get started with the first major trends, and I'm talking about AI-driven analytics. Think about ChatGPT. You can upload a spreadsheet, ask it to analyze the data, and in no time, it will give you key insights. Microsoft Excel also have a cool feature where you can easily create formulas or summarize data using charts created by AI. This trend is happening across most data tools. For example, if you use Tableau's latest version, you will find it has AI tools like Einstein built right in to create calculated fields and help you with dashboards. So what does this mean for people in data roles? AI is making it easier to do simple tasks that don't require a lot of skills, like creating charts or summarizing data. These are things that used to take a lot of time but are now becoming automated. And so as a result, data professionals will need to focus on more advanced and business-specific tasks. So the action for you is to get comfortable with AI tools and how they can help with data analysis. You can learn prompt engineering so that you can ask AI the right question and get the best answer without wasting time on trial and error. Listen, the point is simple. The better you are at asking AI the right things, the more efficient your work will be. Now, we cover how you can use AI to perform data analysis, but there is another trend that is actually transforming the whole data workflow for professionals. And understanding this will give you an edge in the market. And I'm talking about unified data platforms. These are cloud-based systems that handle everything from collecting and connecting data to creating data pipeline and ETLs to analyzing and creating visualizations. Google Cloud Platform's BigQuery is a great example. They literally market themselves as a unified data analytics platform that supports end-to-end -end data lifecycle. And this will simplify the workflow for data professionals. For instance, right now in my role, I use tools like Fivetran for data connections, BigQuery for querying data, DBT for data modeling, and Tableau for visualization. And the trend that I see is that platforms like BigQuery will handle all of this in one place. So the action for you is to stay updated on the latest cloud platforms like GCP, AWS, and Microsoft Azure. These platforms are constantly evolving, so learning new features as they are released will give you an advantage on others who might not even pay attention to this latest news. Now, the next trend is probably one of the most surprising shifts in the industry. What used to require a whole team of experts is now something anyone can do, and that changes everything. I'm talking about self-service analytics which is becoming more common, meaning that more non-technical people will be able to analyze data without relying on experts. AI is lowering the barrier to entry for data analysis, which means that even marketing or salespeople who don't specialize in data can create reports. And I've seen this happening more and more often in my company as well. Non-technical people are generating reports that could easily be mistaken for work done by a data analyst. I've seen people using AI tools to create charts and summary that are looking actually pretty good. And so the action for you is to strengthen your foundational data skills because as more people start doing their own analysis, data professionals will likely be tasked with double checking and cleaning their work. And so you need to be the expert who ensures that data is accurate and reliable. Now the next trend is a curious one and I don't see many people talking about it. And I call it the data literacy programs. And this is actually connected with the previous uh, self-analytics expansion that we just discussed about. As more employees start working with data, companies are realizing they need to invest in data literacy programs to teach the workforce how to uh, use data effectively. And so people in the data roles need to step up and help train others. So again, action for you is to start sharing your knowledge about data. You can do this through social media like LinkedIn or offer training sessions within your company. Not only will this help others, but it will also improve your ability to explain complex topics to non-experts, which is a skill that will be highly valuable. Now, the next one is probably something that you are experiencing yourself or at least you already heard of. And I'm talking about the no-code and low-code platforms. No-code and low-code platforms are growing and they allow people to build advanced analytic solutions without needing to uh, know how to code. 
This trend will make it easier for anyone to develop and deploy data tools, even if they don't have programming skills. And so an action for you is to learn how to use these no-code tools yourself. You can start with tools like GitHub Copilot, which I have found extremely useful in speeding up coding tasks. And the more familiar you are with these tools, the more productive you will be, even if you don't specialize in coding. And in case you don't know which are these tools, I will leave some of them here in the screen, just in case you're interested. No-code tools are just the start, but this next trend is allowing for more complex analysis than ever before, and it's changing the way we handle data altogether. And I'm talking about multimodal analysis. With the latest in AI, we can now analyze not only structured data like tables and spreadsheets, but also unstructured data like text, video, and audio. For example, imagine using meeting notes or recordings as a data source. AI can process and analyze these unstructured data types to provide insights that were previously really difficult to get. And so an action for you is to learn more about techniques that are specifically targeted to work with unstructured data. And one of them, for example, is natural language processing, which is a technique for working with text data. And so getting a handle on this will allow you to analyze huge amount of text data and turn it into valuable insights. And understanding multimodal analysis is key, but there is a growing need for a completely new role that can translate these insights for decision makers. This is actually a new one that I've heard of recently, and it's called the Analytics Translators. And so McKinsey introduced the concept of the Analytics Translator, which is a role designed to bridge the gap between data scientists and business users by identifying challenges and developing solutions together. So analytics translators are important because they help business figure out which problems to solve first and make sense of complicated data. They also help to turn that data into useful ideas that can help the company reach its goals. And to do this job well, you need to know a lot about the business, understand some technical stuff, be good at managing projects and be able to work well with others. And so the action for you, again, is to develop your communication skills. Being able to explain technical concepts to non-technical people is a crucial skill that will set you apart in the workplace. And also look out for these new roles that are emerging in the market, often due to AI changing what is needed in the company. Now, the next trend, I call it the hybrid skill set. And this is because right now, but also in the future, companies will value professionals who combine data skills with domain expertise in fields like marketing or healthcare or finance. AI may be able to handle better the technical stuff, but domain knowledge is something that AI still struggles with. And so the actions for you is to pick an area of expertise, whether it's operations, marketing or finance, and become an expert in that field alongside your data skills. This hybrid skill set will make you way more valuable in the job market. And a practical example that I can give you is the field of marketing. You can be a good marketing data analyst, but if you become good at understanding the marketing concepts like lead generation, top of the funnel, search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, then you really bring a cool skill set to the table. And having a hybrid skill set is powerful, but the future is moving toward something even broader. And this is the next strong trend, which is the full stack data roles. These are data professionals who can handle everything from data engineering to data analysis and even machine learning. These roles are highly flexible, allowing companies to get more done with fewer people. We are already seeing this trend with the emergence of uh, new roles in the market, for example, the ones that is called analytics engineer, which is essentially a mix of data engineering and data analytics. And I foresee that this type of roles will emerge even more in the future. And so the actions for you is to build a strong foundation in one area, like data analytics or data engineering, but also start learning skills from uh, nearby fields. For example, if you're a data analyst, you could uh, start learning data engineering and machine learning to become more versatile. And I'm doing this myself as I started with a role that involves data analytics mainly. And now I'm building a strong foundation in data engineering, but also using machine learning at work much more than before. And one more uh, trend that I see now in the market is the growth of freelance data roles. We are going to see more freelance and contract roles in data analytics. Many companies may not have the budget for a full-time uh, data team, but will hire freelancers to handle specific projects. And this is because most companies are now realizing the value of data. And so maybe they will ask a freelancer to create the data infrastructure and the basic foundation so that other people in the company can start to working with data. 
And so the action for you, in case you're interested in freelancing, is to consider taking on small freelance projects to build up your portfolio. This could open up new opportunities, especially as more companies look to outsource specialized data tasks. And if you're interested to know more about how to do this, definitely comment below and I will work on a separate video just on this topic. And there you have it. These are all my predictions for the future of the data and AI space in the coming months and years. If you got at least one useful information from this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that I can help you also in future videos. And in case you want to learn more about data analytics, I put together a video where I teach pretty much all I learned in my six years of experience as a data analytics lead. There is a huge amount of value compressed in one video only, so make sure to check it out here at the link that you see in the screen. And well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.